everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jen, I post videos twice a week and today's video is going to be a huge homeware haul. If you didn't already know, I am moving house into my own place for the first time with my boyfriend. So we have had to basically buy everything from scratch. I'm only taking my bed with me. I don't own loads of homeware stuff anyway. I'm actually going to split this video into two parts because there's that much. So yeah, if you really, really enjoy these types of videos, I hope you like and subscribe and watch part two when it comes out. Okay, so just before the haul begins, I just want to say a massive thank you to my family and Tom's family for helping us out so much with lots of different things, including furniture, beds, the, all the homeware, kitchenware and stuff. They've really helped us out and either gifted us some stuff or they have actually given us the money to buy our own stuff, which is amazing. So I just wanted to say quick appreciation for my family and Tom's, thank you so much. So yeah, just thought I'd put that in there. Okay, so the first place I'm going to start with is Tesco. Altogether, I went to Tesco, Wilco and B&M for this first part of the video. So I'm going to show you what I picked up. The first thing we picked up was a kettle. This is the Breville, I think, is it called Breville? Breville? Breville kettle in the color white. So this is what it looks like and I think that it is a really good make. I love the colour. My kitchen's cream, so I wanted really light colours. It lights up blue at the side when it's turned on. It looks really easy to use, and I like how the handle's on the side because I don't really like the kettles that have the handle on top. I find that they're hard to pour and stuff like that. So happy, and this was actually on offer for £29. So yeah, this is the first thing that I picked up. And the next thing that I picked up was the matching toaster to go with it. This was also £29 on offer. And yeah, I think that they look really, really good high quality, the Breville ones. I know my mum and dad have had a few and they work really well. This is a four slot toaster because normally me and Tom have two slices of toast and bread each when we toast it. So it has different settings along the bottom. I love the colour, I love how it matches. I really wanted like a matching set. I wanted it to be the same exact colour and stuff like that. So yeah, this is the toaster. We also picked up a microwave from Tesco as well, but I cannot lift up the stairs to show you uh, because it's too heavy. So I will just put a little picture here of what it looks like. It's just a Tesco one. We don't need anything fancy and microwaves are actually quite expensive. I thought they were about £30 normally. Turns out they're about 70 to 80 but luckily I think ours was 39 um, and it has a little dial with the numbers on. So yeah, that is uh, the microwave that we got. So that is everything that we got from Tesco. We wanted to get the main appliances from Tesco. So the next shop that I'm going to move on to is Wilco. So that's got a lot of kitchenware and homely bits that we picked up. This is the bag. This is one of two massive bags. So I will leave the prices up on the screen because I can't remember exactly how much they are. But I got the Wilco frying pan. So this is just silver, non-stick and it's 24 centimetres. They also had one for 28 centimetres if you really like a big frying pan. But just to fry some eggs in, I think that's fine for me and Tom. So yeah, and then it just has this, It's the handle's like a rubbery texture. So yeah, we got the frying pan. Then we picked up some pans. So this is the non-stick 16 centimetre saucepan and it comes with a glass lid. It's just underneath the sticker. Plain black saucepan just for cooking stuff in, just like beans. So yeah, I got this small pan then we got this bigger pan for potatoes and pasta and stuff like that and this is 20 centimeters with the glass lid as well underneath this big sticker these were actually really cheap i think they were about three pound fifty but i will leave the price on the screen but yeah they do feel nice and they're not too heavy because if it's too heavy then i'll struggle to use it so yeah, really happy with those pans. The next thing we got is this non-stick baking tray. This is great for putting chicken dippers on, maybe my oven chips and stuff like that. And it is a nice big size and that's why I like this one. It's non-stick, dishwasher safe and it's nestable, five year guarantee. So yeah, I'm really happy with this baking tray. Okay, next thing we picked up was a flat grater for cheese and stuff. And it does have lots of different types of graters on it so like this top one i'd use for cheese that's for like slicing cheese into like big strips and then this little one i don't really know what that's for maybe it's for like parmesan cheese 
I'm not quite sure, but I've never ever used like the tiny, tiny little graters for stuff like that. Maybe chocolate actually, if you were ever grating chocolate. And then the last thing in this Wilco bag is this jug. I think this was a 35p, but you need, you always need a measuring jug. It's just a plastic one. It feels sturdy even though it's plastic. A jug's great for putting gravy and stuff in if you don't have like gravy boat, which I don't. The first thing out of this bag is this chopping board. This is a navy blue colour, but I think it looks like a dark grey colour as well. The lights make it look a bit blue. It actually makes it look a lot darker on camera. But anyway, so just a chopping board for chopping vegetables on and stuff. It's quite thick, which is what me and Tom love. And he's the cook, so he picked a lot of the kitchen stuff. So yeah, they also had this in white as well, if you're interested. Then we picked up some cutlery. Didn't want to go too fancy for cutlery um, at the minute. I do like a nice handle on cutlery sets, but we just thought, just get the basics. And then obviously when we've settled in a lot more, we can just venture out on different stuff, if, if that made any sense. But yeah, we got this cutlery set. It's just a standard plain one. They're all just the same metal all the way down. There's no handles or anything on them. This is a 16 piece set. So you get four of each utensil. You can get them in bigger sets and smaller sets. Just for two people living in a house, I think a 16 piece set would do well enough. I think all of these next little bits were 50p each if I remember correctly. So we have a spatula in the matte black. Then we got this spoon and this spoon was £1.50 I remember because this one's a tiny bit fancier like the handle's a bit softer and this is the shiny metal band. But yeah a big soup spoon. We got this spatula. We got a potato masher because you need to make mash don't you? And we also got this other big spoon which is a slotted spoon. So it's always great to have two big spoons, especially if you're making lots of different dishes for a meal thing. So that's all like the big kitchenware bits we got. Okay, so moving on to B&M. We went to B&M just to pick up a few little bits. So the first thing we picked up was this toilet brush and holder. So this is in like a nice matte gray and my bathroom is gray and white. So this fits really nice that they also had really nice mint green ones of these if you have like a duck egg teal kind of thing going on in your bathroom then it's just shiny at the top and yeah you just always need one of these um for cleaning it is a necessity in a bathroom so yeah this was only three pounds as well which is actually one of the cheaper ones in b&m normally they're about five pounds just depending on what look you kind of want but they have so many in there now the next thing we picked up which i'm so happy about so happy with the price of this is a shoe rack so this is just a gray one it is plastic but then it's got like the metal to put your shoes on and it'll just pop straight out which is something i love it looks very easy you don't have to build it or anything they had it in black i got it in gray and this was 3.99 and in the range there's a 13 pounds now i love the range but just for a shoe rack, I think £13 is a bit expensive, especially when you can go to B&M and get one for £4. So yeah, I'm so happy we picked this up and that's going to be for our little porch so people can take the shoes off. Got my shoe rack. The next thing that we picked up were 50 swing bin liners with a tie handle. These are £2.50. We have just bought a kitchen bin. That'll be in the next video from stuff I bought from the range. But yeah, we really need obviously bags so your bin doesn't get all grubby and stuff. And it protects us the inside so yeah 50 litre ones and you get 50 for £2.50 so really really good price the next thing we got is a lighter this is just a bog standard lighter it's blue it was a pound and bought this because I need something to light my candles with then I picked up some bleach just for the toilet nothing exciting and that was oh that was only 39p as well i got it in citrus but they also had it in just original then i got some kitchen foil because i saw it and i thought if i don't get it now i'm going to forget to get some because that is something we always forget in my house so yeah got this foil for me and tom we picked up this heinz vinegar this is just normal vinegar 568 ml and we don't normally get this one we normally get sarsons because they normally have sarsons in b&m for a good price but they didn't actually have it this time so we just picked up Heinz and then the last thing that we got were the food and freezer bags 215 here for a pound now these look very thin they're just the normal clear ones I'd say like a white clear color um but just for putting sandwiches and stuff I hope these are going to be okay so yeah just got some of these but you get 250 so for a pound that's not 
too bad. Okay, so that is everything I've picked up in this part one of my homeware haul. I hope you enjoyed it. If you really want to watch part two, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below, click the notification bell so you know when my next part two is going to be coming on my channel. And yeah, so that's the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.